this is Sato and Vanessa driving you home on a beautiful afternoon in Vancouver at Z95.3. Today uh, is a very important day. Yes, today is World Mental Health Awareness Day. Uh, it's a day that may not affect you, but it affects someone that you know. And Kat Carter, this is something that is close to you. You might know Kat because you would have heard her on the radio here at Z95.3 a couple of years ago. Yeah. She was here for, for a long time. Hello, Kat. Hi, Sato and Vanessa. Hello, thank you for being with us. I, obviously, you're uh, not living anywhere close to us right now, so thank you not for making anymore. the time. <laughs> and i got to say, when you lived here in BC, I only moved just to Vancouver, and uh, I looked up to you because you were always out. You were hiking. You were just loving this city, and uh, you met your partner here in Vancouver. Yeah, that's right. And despite that, and I didn't know this at the time, um, you, you were going through a, a bit of a rough time. Yeah, so I was silently struggling with depression, uh, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder, all of these things that I've been kind of struggling with for half my life, and the reason why I didn't speak up for pretty much years and years and years was just the stigma attached to talking about mental health and the comments that would be made about people who spoke up about their mental health issues. And finally, I was just so tired of being judged and, and made fun of and told that mental health isn't real, depression isn't real, that I started to share my journey online and really show people how hard it is living with a mental illness. And i got to say, like, working with you when you were going through all of that stuff, I had absolutely no idea. When I found out about that, my, like my mind was blown because you wouldn't know it at all. And obviously there were days when you were coming in and underneath it all, it was a, it was a struggle for you. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, I would, was dealing with really bad insomnia when that would happen too. So I, would, I was coming to work on just, you know, a few hours sleep every day and then going on air, just going home and just settling back into that, depressed self that I was because I felt like I could finally be myself again behind closed doors and I didn't have to put that mask on like I was yeah. doing when I was at work. You talked about uh, how you're sure that there are a lot of people around us that are silently suffering. What is it that mm -hmm. you would say to them? Well, first of all, uh, I want them to know that they are not alone and there are millions around the world who are struggling every single day. So you need to know that you are not the only one dealing with this and what you are feeling is absolutely real. So do not feel bad about it. And the best thing for me was to start to open up to people and start to talk to my doctor and find close friends that I could talk to um, and, and asking for help. That was a huge thing because I, I never loved asking for help. But as soon as I did that, I realize that there are a lot of people out there who are willing to help you with your struggles. Well, thank you so much for uh, speaking to us today, Kat. Really appreciate it. And oh, thank ho you. Hopefully, uh, this obviously raises more awareness. It's one day. And honestly, I wish it didn't exist. I wish every day it was Mental Health Awareness Day because there should be no stigma when it comes to this. 100% uh, agreed. If you do need uh, a little bit of help yourself, you can go to here to help. Uh, bc ca. It's a website. There are phone numbers on there attached as well. Um, and if you need help, make sure you go seek it. It's M not a, like it's don't ever feel bad about it. No. Um, and you know, more people suffer a mental illness than get migraines, but yet it's okay to call in and say, I've got a migraine. I can't come to work. Yeah. There needs to be absolutely no stigma around this. So yep. the more that we talk about this and get this out there, it's important. It's not, it's okay not to be okay. Yes. 100%.